hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm trying to simplify what is a level of detail expression why and in which scenarios do we need to think that we need to write a calculation in lod format okay so let us get started without wasting much time if you are new to my channel don't forget to like share and subscribe so to start off with what i'm doing is what is what is a level of detail expression so it is something that allows you to control your aggregation at the granularity you want okay very simple okay it is an expression that is allowing us to control our aggregation at the granularity we want so if i what do i mean by that okay so I'm just connecting to a sample superstore here. Now, if I take uh, maybe sales here and drop it on a label, and I'm also taking my category and I'm dropping it on label, sorry, on rows. Now, what is happening? My sales is at a category level, right? And now if I try to split it at a, or break down it at a subcategory level, what is happening? My sales is also breaking down at a subcategory level, which means it is flowing with the granularity I want. So it is following your intuition, but in case or in situations where you do not want to do this type, where you want a different aggregation, something which is not according to what you have in the view, in that situations we'll think if we can answer this question in LOD format. Okay, so that is the basic scenario that we need to understand what is LOD and how it helps. So here, we understand we are trying to understand that it is helping us in controlling our granularity and in controlling our aggregations so i'm going back to my ppt so there are based on this different situations or based on the situations that might arise in uh, real uh, real time or how you want to you know maybe control your aggregations based on that tableau has divided our lod expressions the very powerful ex expressions into four parts so technically most of the places you will see them as three types like say fixed lod include lod and exclude lod but i am also including an another type of lod called as table scope now fixed means what it is specifically at the dimension you want Okay, simple. It is at the dimension you want. Second one is including at the dimension you uh, you want apart from what is there in the view. And exclude means excluding apart from what is there in the view. Okay, we'll try to clip it in this way only, but I'll give you another example to you know uh, add to it so that you can understand. So, but this is with respect to the definition. Okay, so they help us in fixing means irrespective of what is there in the way you are specifying a dimension that boss i need at a category level then that is a fixed lod okay if you want to add something to your view which means higher than the view right so you want at a subcategory level but you uh, it is at a category level so you are telling tableau array boss please consider my friend also right into the calculation then that is higher level of date detail then what is currently displayed that is your include if you want or i don't you know include this part but it is there in the view you're telling that part so that is exclude so that is at a lower level of detail than what is currently displayed in the view so that is your exclude so table scoped is like on your entire data set okay so it is on an entire data. you want to find something like you want to find out what is my maximum sales? What is my minimum sales? What is the first order date? What is the last order date? Like what is the max date I have in my view? So this is on your entire date range of data that you have. On that, it will try to give you that, okay? So that is your table scoped LOD, okay? So by syntaxes, if I try to explain you, this is how it looks like. So fixed include and exclude are called as a scoping words or they are called as keywords in tableau okay so if you are trying to specify any lod type first you need to start writing you know in flower braces and anything that you write in flower braces tableau will treat that as an lod expression so this point you need to understand and keep in mind always followed by a dimension 
followed by a dimension. Okay, so it, you can use it at a single dimension or a multiple dimension up to you, but you can write multiple dimensions as well. Okay, and then followed by aggregation. So this is one thing that you need to keep in mind. What are we telling? We are telling that level of a detail expression is at a, I mean, it is allowing us to control the granularity of data at an aggregation we are specifying. So here, our granularity is this and aggregation is this. So this is must when you are using LOD expression. So here we are specifying for a category, for a region, I want my sum of sales. I'm fixing at that level. Okay, so in your LOD expressions, your dimensions that you are specifying and the aggregations you are specifying are all that matters. Based on that only, your results will differ. I hope you are clear till here. So we, by definition perspective, we try to understand uh, or we try to define LOD and we have seen the syntaxes. Now I'm taking you to a very simplified version of LOD expression. So think that, you know, you have taken a photo from your mobile. You want to zoom in on a particular thing, irrespective of what is there in the image. Okay, so you find someone beautiful or you have, you have found something beautiful in the image. You want to zoom it. That is a field fixed LOD expression. So it's like zooming in on a specific part of the picture, which means you are only focusing on that part regardless of what is there in the image. That is your fixed LOD. Include LOD means like you are trying to zooming out little bit to find out or you are adding more to that picture so that you can identify, okay? Like surrounding areas, okay? You, you, you are mainly focused on one part, but you are also ignoring like no little surroundings and all. So that is like say, you are include LOD expression. Exclude means you are eliminating some part from the picture. Like say you are eliminating the background of the picture. You are uh, eliminating someone who has popped up in the picture. Okay, so that is your exclude LOD expressions. Okay, so I hope this has helped you, you know, somewhat to understand what is LOD expression. So if this is a type of a situations, you know, arise in real time where you are focusing only on a specific part of your data, you want to include you know, some part of the data apart from what is there in the view or what is not there on the view, uh, or you want to ignore something that is there in the view, then based on that, you can define this type of LOD expressions, okay? So example one, and again, I'm trying to give you an, another you know, general example to suffice, suffice to our simplified version of uh, you know, LOD expression. So here, Assume, you know, you know, we are selling a cake here, cupcake. So I have three flavors. I have chocolate, I have vanilla, and I have strawberry. And these are also in different sizes, like say small, medium, and large. Now, if I want to do an analysis on top of this, like say, I only want to find out how many cupcakes I sold. Okay, regardless of what is the size I'm selling, regardless of what is the flavor I'm selling, I'm just interested in finding out what is my total sale of cupcakes. So it is very easy, right? So I'm fixing my sales at a order or whatever that flavors of cupcakes, that's it. So total orders I'll get. So that is at a particular dimension. But now assume you want to find out how many cupcakes are sold and in that, I want to find out how many large cupcakes I sold, right? So again, like we are defining what we want to include and what is a specific thing that we are considering in this calculation. So in this situation, we might use include LOD expression or the opposite of this. Except in case you are instead interested in finding out the total number of cupcakes sold, but you want to exclude some details from that. Like say, you might not want to consider strawberry items sold. Okay, you might not want to consider chocolate items, something like that, okay? So in that situation, we can use exclude LOD expression. So what are we doing here? We are eliminating what we don't need from the view or we are adding apart from what is there in the view. So that is an LOD expression. In this situation, again, we will use LOD expression. Okay, again, I 
okay i hope this is clear now in which situations do we use lod expression so this is something that we need to understand i get this question many times like you know i know rahul you know when should i decide that i have to go to lod expression why can't i use normal calculations to you know solve my question so this is one standard uh, thing or doubt that many of us uh, students also get okay so to answer to this you know what we need to understand is your visualization will show the data at a different level right so when we are creating our dashboard views or when we are creating views in our worksheet it is at a different level or at uh, the granularity of the data is at a different level but assume your calculation is not matching with the level of data that you have in the view so you are considering sales at a state level region level or city level but you are computing at a state level or a country level what is happening here the calculation is getting mismatched or the level of granularity is being mismatched so in this situation we can think of using an lod expression to get the correct result okay you are doing a, a complicated math with your data okay like say you want to find out a particular order like say assume you have visited uh, a dmart store today maybe three times you have visited today okay so and you have purchased multiple items but now end user or like developers uh, like us is interested in knowing when was the last time he was visited he has visited now if i consider today's example i visited three times i went in the morning i went in the afternoon i went in the evening now when i try to enter this in the database i will have three entries against me right so against a customer name i will have three orders so he has come in the afternoon 12 am he has come in the morning sorry 10 am 12 pm and like say 9 pm three times okay but if i want to find out when was the max or the last time he has visited for that day then the result that i need to get is that 9 pm time that i have visited okay so like here even though i have multiple orders against me i am only considering one order that was that i have placed last so in this situation again we will use lod expression okay to filter the data or to find out the sales for that specific order that i have done the last time like that okay so we are again fixing what we need from or at which granularity we need okay that is again your lod expression okay you want to compare stuff across different categories but you want to keep your analysis consistent okay again in that situation we will use lod expression okay you want to filter the data but you only filter only on how your visualization thinks so okay so here what you need to think is one basic criteria that we need to think is what is there in the view what you are showing what your calculation is doing simple okay basing on this only you have to decide whether you have to go up using lod expression or not okay so i hope it has given you some clarity of how to use lod expressions i'm not talking about anything technically here in this i'm only talking a very theoretical description but just so that you know you understand when and how to use okay so i'll be posting a part two where we will discuss different scenarios of lod expressions but this is something that you need to understand like why and when to use lod expressions and what are the different use uh, uh what's it called use cases of lod expressions with that said i'm ending my video i hope you have enjoyed it if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day